Thank you all for tuning in. My name is Tim, founder and president of Develop with Tim. Today's video is gonna be about who we are, what we do, and how we got started. So I'm gonna take y'all back all the way to my senior year in high school. That's where I got my first interest in finance at. Um, I took a course where we learned basically from Dave Ramsey Financial Peace University. Um, after I learned in class, I was excited. I was going out telling my friends about the information that I heard, telling my family members, trying to get people to invest, uh, but didn't really have too much luck. I went to college where I majored in business administration. I had a concentration in both marketing and management. Um, in college, I also did the same thing. I took the information that I learned my senior year in high school, and I was telling my new friends about um, budgeting, setting um, schedules to invest, um, things like that. Um, but again, some of my friends were interested, but they didn't take it as seriously as they should have. Um, again, we were young, so can't really fault anyone, uh, but it is better to invest while you're younger versus getting older. Um, then uh, around my sophomore year, I, I wanted to have a career in finance instead of uh, business management and marketing. Um, but if I would have switched schools, that would have set me back a year. And y'all know how it is. I didn't want to stay in college an extra year. That's five years instead of my four, more debt. So I was like, nah, I know that I could get a job in the finance field with a business degree and I can just be trained. Fast forward to my senior year of college. I actually applied to an investment firm in the area that I wanted to relocate to in South Carolina. Um, they told me that they weren't looking for new people, like new recent graduates. They wanted someone more experienced, but they had openings in a different region. I didn't want to go to that region, so I turned down the offer. Uh, throughout my years in college, trying to teach people about finances and um, wanting to start my own business, I tried to figure out how can I incorporate the two. So I was like, okay, I can do a business with a financial coach. And then I was, I realized how much I actually love business. I had like a list of 30 like business ideas, different things that I wanted to do. I realized I'm only one person. So one person, I mean, yeah, it's possible for one person to run 30 businesses, but for me, I was like, nah, um, I'm not gonna lie. At the time, a huge procrastinator. So I knew for a fact I couldn't run 30 businesses um, by myself. So I started looking for partnerships. Like, oh, would you be interested in starting this type of business? Um, a lot of people, they aren't interested in starting businesses. Um, gotta understand that, and that's, you know, it's a way of life. Uh, everybody has their own, their own path and they have their own goals and ambitions. So then I was like, okay, well, what way could I incorporate myself in multiple businesses without me having to start them myself or actually run them? And I thought about business development help someone from whether they just have like a simple idea that they want to turn into a, a business or even if they know they want to have a business, they just don't know where to start. Um, I can, I wanted to assist people doing that. So I'm like, well, can't run 30 businesses, but I could still assist in starting 30 plus. Um, then, you know, we got the business development side added on to financial coaching. Cool. Now, self-development is something I didn't take into consideration until late my senior year slash post-graduation. Um, I was working a job. I took like two months off work because I quit. Um, took two months off of work. And in that two months, my first month I kind of wasted, of course, I think it's typical. Um, but my second month, I actually took time to focus on myself and focus on who is Tim? What do Tim want to really do? Like, where do I want to be at in the next, by the end of the year, the next five years, the next 10 years, so far, so on. Um, then I was like, okay, I can add self-development here. Um, but let me wind back. My senior year in college, um, like if you are a business major, you know about the um, presentations that we have to do in classes. So a lot of people were telling me, Tim, you do good with presentations. Um, a couple people asked me if I can coach them and assist them in prepping up for the presentation and even, you know, like listening to them present to me one-on-one. Um, -on -one. Um, my sophomore year, no, my junior year of college, I was working three jobs. Um, people at my other jobs, like every time I go from job to job, they're like, oh, you, you're a hard worker, you're motivating. Um, we had like conversations and you know, I, I had a why on why I was working so hard. My why was, um, I was in college, I had to pay rent. I wasn't living on campus and I didn't want my mom to have to worry about all that. So I decided to work. 
Um, but anyway, I meshed all three of those up together, actually four with the uh, speaking, um, and got the Bella with Tim. So going forward, what I'm going to do is, or actually what we're going to do, develop with Tim as a company um, on our different social media platform, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, we're going to have different series. We're going to have a finance series, a business series, and a self-development series where we're going to have videos about um, various topics, insights on each one, some how-tos, um, and whatever else people may recommend. So stay tuned, follow us, like, subscribe, um, and you know, we're going to be having a, we're going to be having a fun, fun time learning, growing with each other and just stay tuned for the next year to come. Um, hope everyone have a great day. See you guys next time.